Maybe, uh, buy a few gifts. I'm sorry. Lily, I said only if it's urgent. I think it is. What's the matter with her? She just keeps saying she wants to go back to Milan. Where is she? In the bar. Tell McNeil to get ready with the set piece. Hmm? Anything wrong? I won't see him. I won't talk to him. I see. I don't trust you. And whatever you're planning is not good for him, and I won't go along with it. You really are the most extraordinary woman, aren't you? You have an amazing capacity for self-destruction. You had a rich husband who gave you everything you wanted. You had security. You don't need to be told my entire life history I happened to have lived it. And you chucked it all away, didn't you? Your son was conceived about three months before Diakim disappeared. Oh. Yes. Because he was born in that convent in Dijon six months after you got into France. No. No, but he knows about There's always somebody who knows about everything, Mrs. Peterson. Just a question of finding them. Then you had him adopted, didn't you? When he was, what, nine? No, 11, 11 months old. By, um... Pierre Marie Diderot of Saint Paul de Vienne, I think. All right. All right. I'll do anything you say. I'll talk to Alex. I'll do anything, but for God's sake, leave that boy alone. When did you last see him? Never, never since then. Oh, but surely. Madame Diderot sends you a photograph every Christmas. <laughs> Oh. How did you get him here? He has to see a specialist. He's not ill. No, 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 no. No, he's not ill. It's just advice from the family doctor with a little pressure from me. You see, the specialist is one of my men. Please wait. Not yet. Oh, it's you. I was beginning to think you didn't fancy me anymore. Just dropped in to see if uh, you were all right. How darling of you. Anything you want? Well, I could do with something a tiny bit more amusing than old Ethel here. But then I suppose you keep all the pretty ones to yourself. I would also like to know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. You'll know when it's necessary. Don't you just love your little secrets? Incipient paranoia, I shouldn't wonder. Go on, tell me I'll regret my insubordination one of these days. You'll regret your insubordination one of these days. Do you ever do crosswords? A paranoid policeman with the delusions of grandeur. Four-letter word, beginning with C and ending with T.
Good morning. Everything all right? I'm bored. All that snow up there and I'm not allowed to ski. Well, you can always go out. Nobody's stopping you. It's a very pretty little town, if you like swans and cuckoo clocks. It's miles away. But Muller can drive you. With one hand on my leg? When do I move? I don't know. As I told you. Maybe never. Get me a Gissner 99. Well, I'm going to exercise now, then I'm going to take a little swim in the nude. So you better run along to your peeping position number two, okay? You told me to keep an eye on her. Yes, an eye. How do you equate $300 with a gear with a great revolution? You ask that as one schizo to another? <laughs> Perhaps you're right. We could use you on our side. You? You're the enemy. Oh, no. I destroy for an ideal just as you do. I destroy only for freedom. And so do I. Room 429. But what is freedom? No one's defined it for us, so we're both running blind. Brewer? What's he up to? Has he shown his signs of leaving? Not until he gets his story. Want me to push him? No, no, no. Let him get on with it. You find me attractive, don't you? Yes. You would like to lay me? Yes. Must be easy for you. You hold many people in your hands. Many women. Victims don't interest me. You like to possess danger, don't you? Something like that. Oh, by the way, I'll get you your Gissner 9v9.
I used to go out. You never ask where I've been. Now I'm here. You don't ask why or how I found you. Because I know. Sit down. I'm afraid I misjudged Scott badly. Scott Allison? Mm -hmm. Oscar? Yeah. He came here yesterday. This man, Curtis, is very clever at planting false evidence. Like this. Oh, what is this? A letter. Quite a good imitation of your handwriting, but not good enough to fool me. Full of nonsense about you having had my son. You... You did have a child? Yes. Yes, of course I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't know where you were. Nobody knew. And Alex, would you have cared? What do you mean, would I have cared? Because a mother and a child, that's a family. So? You didn't want it. God knows you told me that enough times. Katina. Well, you might as well know it all. I had to give the baby away. I had to have him adopted. What? You gave away our son? God, I was ill. I, I had no money. I was on the run, as we all were. You gave him away just like that? No, not just like that. Oh, what kind of father would you have been? Always fighting, always risking your life. Not anymore. Oh, yes. At this very moment. And I'm no better. I'm self-destructive. Curtis is right. God, I wish to Christ I'd never conceived your baby. And I should have had an abortion. You're the only man who ever hit me. It seems a lousy reason. <laughs> Tell me, where is he now? I'd like to see him. No. Why not? Because that's the trick. You mean the boy is here? Yes. Yes, of course. Curtis brought him here. Alex, listen to me. You shouldn't go back. All right, I know. I know all the reasons. I know that you must do what you must do. And for that, I love you. But for God's sake... You, you know I can't stand her. She does so love the country and the animals and everything. All that chitter-chatter. She's like a mad parrot. She says she never sees you since you took on this European farmer's thing. Well, serves her bloody well right. Oh. No, I, I, don't, I don't mean that. I'll ask her whenever you like, but, uh, but not in April. Not April? Why? Well, I thought we might clear off together somewhere warm. Sicily, Corfu, just a couple of weeks alone. Hmm? 
Leave your precious livestock in April. Well, well this time, I re I, honestly, I, 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 I will try. I'm so, so sick of it. Your committee, are they OK? Yeah, they're fine. It's just too many people. I'm fed up with them. People. like Dracula's daughter, come in and have a drink. No, no, I uh, just have to check. It's all right. I'm not going to pounce on you. You're not my type. It's against orders. I'm not supposed to sit down and talk to you. Well, we could just sit. No, I don't think Mr. Curtis would like that. Look, you can't hang about in the street all night. You'll freeze your balls off. All right, if you insist. Red or white? I'll have a beer. Oh, come on, live it up a little. This is a wine bar. <laughs> He won't be coming. Good morning. I beg your pardon? He won't be taking your little boat ride, and neither will I. I see. You try to manipulate lives. Doesn't anyone ever turn on you and fight back? Sometimes. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I told you to board up the lake at Old Munster. It seemed wiser. Listen to me. Why do you think you're always right? I have to see the boy. I'm sure you understand that. Your Curtis doesn't frighten me. I know him. Oh, no, you don't.
It's about time. I was beginning to think I put that note in the wrong coat. Sorry, I'm let up and followed. My watchdog isn't quite as stupid as he looks. Can you see him? Yeah. He's over there on the right. God knows what he could confess to. I hope he doesn't decide to investigate. He won't. He's British. Which means he's embarrassed as hell being in a church anyway. It'll be a different matter if the priest turns up. You didn't see it. I took the sign down. Confessions on Saturday afternoon only. Shortage of staff, you know. And so Riot has place to meet. How come you're not being followed? Well, no one's interested in me anymore. You see, I've already played my little part. What part? What's going on? Who the hell are you anyway? <laughs> He's a big boy. Yes, and he's happy. They love him, Alex. Um, they're very kind people. What's his name? Francois. some years ago. Why? Money. He needed a fighting fund. We, that is the foreign office, negotiated a loan for him. I handled the details. Hmm. Has he paid it back? No. Well, that must be why you're here. To pressure him in some way. Exactly. And Melissa Lascard's here to kill him if all else fails. Are you sure it was her? Positive, I did a story on her last summer. But there's no pressure attached to that loan, political or otherwise. I don't see what Curtis thinks I can do. You won't until he hits you with it. <laughs> 